Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Jola Sweet. If this is your first time of bumping it to me, thank you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by again. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I created this overall look. And if you're interested in it, let's get started without wasting much of time. But before then, please don't forget to like and share, comment, let me know what you think about this look in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. So guys, I'll be starting off now with my eyebrow. I'll be doing my eyebrow first. As you can see, I just brushed out and decided to start um, lining with my David Sunbite 10 eye pen. So following the exact shape of my brow. Guys, as you all can see, I already concealed my eyelid and I already set it with um, my Sasha Pocket Cup Translucent Powder and now I'm going in with the pink color for my crease areas. For my crease areas, I'm just going to take that from the outer corner of my eye to the inner corner of my eye. And next, I'll also be going in. I'll be going in with an orange color just to make that. A little bit you know more darker because I actually like the pink but I think it's a little bit too loud so I just want to calm it down by by going in with my orange color so after which I'll be also be going in with my purple color that I'm just doing that now okay I'll just go in with my purple color just to set those areas you see very close to my eyelid I just want the upper one to be my transition shade and I want the pop I don't want to add too much of the pop I just want a little bit of it just to fit that areas that I'm that I'm you know that I'm going in with my brush with the outer corner and the inner corner especially the outer corner and now I'll be going in with my hand I will be adding that yellow color with my finger I'll just apply that that area you see on top of my lid and I don't want to go overboard with it I just like it to be just I just want it to appear a little not too much I actually did this look and I like the the result I was just trying something else something different something new and I think I liked the, like the outcome so for the outer color of my eye I'll also be going I'll also be going in with the purple color just to fill that at the outer corner of my eyes and also just um you know finish it all off so for the upper side of my crease areas I am I will be going in with the same shade I started with which is the pink color but it's actually not really looking like pink because 
I tapped into the orange and the pink, the pink color all together. So it gives me, you know, kind of warm look. So after which, I'm going in to do my wing line. So I'm doing my wing line right now, and I'm just going to get. I really want to look very dramatic and that's why I'm doing having it like this today. So next guys, I'll be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'll just tap that into my face. So for my highlighting today, I'll be highlighting underneath my eye so with um, my LA Girl Pit Concealer and I'll also be highlighting the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Today I just decided to go in with a little concealer on my forehead but a lot of time I like to go really really um, big and and add that up very on my forehead because I don't really have a big forehead so for those of you who have a big forehead I don't think you necessarily have to apply a lot of concealer on your forehead because all it's going to do is just make it more bigger the only thing you need to do in times of doing makeup like this is just for you to contour the side of your head if you have a big forehead just contour the side of your head you want to make it you know a little bit small and you want it to just come together you know you can just go in more with your contour so because i don't have a big forehead you can see i'm not really contour contouring um the side of my forehead because i have at least a small forehead so next guys i'll be wearing my lashes and after which i'll be going in on the next my I did on my eye for my eyeshadow. I'll be doing it with the same color, which is the pink color. I actually tapped into the pink color and the orange color together just to give me that, you know, warm look. And for the side of my eyes, the inner corner of my eyes, I'm actually going in with the purple there. And just at the middle, I actually went in with. Uh, a yellow color and for my waterline I went in with a black eye pencil just on my waterline So for where the areas are highlighted, I have already brushed them off camera and decided to go in with my brush into my powder and decide to go again to those areas I've highlighted just to make it look warm and not too white and I went to every part of my face and underneath my neck just to you know powder those areas and after which I'm going in with my contour so right now guys, I'm contouring my nose. I'm actually bringing it very closer to the bridge of my nose. Because I don't want my nose looking like, you know, everybody's on its own and they're fighting, you know. <laughs> I want it to actually come together. So that's why I'm contouring it very, very close. Just to give me that pencil kind of look. Pencil kind of nose. You guys know what I'm talking about. I already have a pointed nose, but I still want it to, you know, to 
come out and you know make it look really beautiful so after that guys for, for my lips today I'll be going in with a white color but actually this one actually looks like brown when it's far off and after it's dried off it actually gives you a different color from afar but it's actually a wine color so I'll just you know I'll be going out of my lips to outline it the reason is because I have very small lips and I really wanted to come out big you know just to complement the whole of this look that's the kind of look I want if you don't want to go over to your if you actually have a big lips there's no need of doing this don't go outside your lips so guys so for so for inside my lips I'll be going in with a nude color and I'm just going to smudge those lips together so guys you already see the finishing of that lips and for on top of my cheekbone I am already highlighting with my dust glow highlighter and I'll just highlight those areas I want it on just on top just little I just want a little of it so it just pops out and it's already looking very very fine you guys can see the whole of this look is looking I'm looking so beautiful and very classy and the makeup is actually very simple I actually like the total look of this at first it was looking as if it's not going to make sense but at the end of it guys you guys can see it actually make sense so let me know what you think about this look okay in the comment section so before we finish let me go in with my blush I'm going in with my blush in between where I, where I highlighted just now and it just in between the contour and my highlighter so I'm putting that in between those two and I'm just going in with just a little, little of it just to you know bring out the whole of this look and so for my hair I'll be wearing wig you guys can see that I didn't make my hair and that's because I've been having cold uh, you can hear that from my voice I'm sorry so I couldn't go out to make my hair because of that I've been down so I'll just be wearing a wig putting on my wig so now after I am taking care of my edges you guys can see that I'm wearing my wig already and I'm looking so good oh my god <laughs> this look is so so far you guys can see the contour areas right if you guys want to try this look please let me know in the comment section below try it out I promise I'm going to watch you guys share your videos okay all right so let me know what you think about this whole look in the comment section I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys bye